Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation and at the end we are going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So let's go ahead and simplify this big long kind of problem by using this fact. So now we're going to be using this fact to compress this big long problem. So what this fact says is wherever you see a plus sign, you convert into a multiplication. Whenever you see a minus sign, that corresponds to the division. So let's call this part an A. This is our B and this is our C. Then how are we going to compress this problem? So our problem is going to look like log of, this is our A, you just put down X plus 2 times, this is our B, I'm put down X minus 2. And since this is a minus means, minus means divided by so this is going to be at the bottom is going to be a 2x minus 1 with the base. Our base is 2. Be careful with that one. Equals to 2. Now on the numerator on the top part, this is a plus b times a minus b. So that will translate into x square minus 4 divided by 2x minus 1 at the bottom with the base 2 equals to 2. And if you are wondering how did we get uh, x squared minus 4 on the top, here is the fact I use. You just use FOIL method or distribute and you're going to get x squared minus 4. So the next step we want to convert this logarithmic equation into an exponential one. And we will be using this fact. If you want to convert from the logarithmic equation to uh, exponential, so we will be using this fact. So this base B is 2, this part is an A, this is C. So we can write this one as x square minus 4 divided by 2x minus 1 equals to 2 power 2. So let's go ahead and do the next step over here. On the top we have x square minus 4 divided by 2x minus 1 equals to 2 power 2 is 4. So far so good. Now we want to get rid of this fraction. If you want to get rid of a fraction, let me show you an easy way. This 4 could be written as 4 over 1. Now I want you to go ahead and crisscross multiply. So cross multiply. Multiply this way and multiply that way. That's super easy way. So if you use that one, if you go this way, 1 times x square minus 4 is same as x square minus 4. And if you go the other way around, 4 times 2x minus 1 becomes 4 times 2x is 8x minus 1 times 4 is negative 4. Now we want to solve for x. Let's see if if you add positive 4 and positive 4 on both sides. So this negative four, positive 4 is gone. This negative positive 4 is gone. We ended up with x squared equals to 8x. I want you to move this 8x on the left hand side. So that's going to be pretty simply it becomes x squared when you move this 8x on the other side, become negative 8x equal to 0. Now here, we can factor x out, x times x minus 8 equal to 0. So 
if you split them up, one x equal to zero, the other side is gonna be x minus eight equal to zero. So that's gonna give you x equal to eight. So we're supposed to have a two, we have a one solution, x equals to eight, the other one is zero. And finally, we wanna check our answer for any extraneous solution. First, we will check x equal to zero. That means wherever you see x, replace it by zero. So here I replaced x by zero. Let's go ahead and now simplify and see what happens. So log of zero plus two is two with a base two plus log of zero minus two is negative two with the base two minus log of zero times two is zero minus one makes negative one with the base two equals two two. However, log of negative one and log of negative two, they are undefined, they do not exist, that means these two statements are false. So that really means x equal to zero is extraneous, thus x is zero is not a solution. And finally, we're gonna check x equals to eight. And let's, wherever you see x, replace it by eight. So I replace x by eight, as you can see, and now, now let's go ahead and simplify. So log of eight plus two becomes 10 with the base two plus log of eight take away two is six with the base two minus log with the base two. Two times eight is 16, take away one is 15 equals to two. Now we want to compress the left hand side by using this fact again. So this could be written as log of 10 times 6 divided by 15 with the base 2 equals to 2. So this becomes log of on the top is 60 divided by 15 base 2 equals to 2. 15 goes into 60 four times base two equals to two. And now let's convert it into exponential form by using this fact on the right hand side. So four could be written as two power two. And that means four equals to four. Now my question is, is this statement true? Yes, this statement is true. Thus, x equals to eight is our solution. Hence, our solution set is x equals to eight is the only solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.